understand that in order to be a disciple of Avraham Avinu, we have to remove all forms of Avodah Zarah. Avodah Zarah doesn't literally mean an idol. Avodah Zarah means serving something foreign. Serving something foreign. So what does it mean serving something foreign? Serving something that's foreign to Hashem. It's not Hashem. Spending anything above the standard amount of energy, time, and effort on anything outside of Hashem. Anything not related to Hashem. It's Abu Dazara. If you spend your life chasing money and you never have time to learn Torah, you don't even have time to even basically read the weekly parasha like you're obligated to, and really you think that you're religious just because you keep Shabbat, you should know that money is your Avodah Zarah. You go up to Shemayim, you tell you, oh, here comes Shmuel, the, the idol worshiper. Shmuel is looking behind him. Maybe there's another Shmuel here. Who's the Shmuel? No, no, you, you. Come, come, Shmuel, come. Come. How many buildings did you build? Oh, I had uh, 15 buildings. How many companies? Oh, 27 companies. Oh, good. So all of those were idols. Why? Why idols? I, I give staka. Yeah, you gave staka. Good for you. It came from idol worship. You're not allowed to go to such an extent of working so hard for money that you forget about God. So chasing money to such an extent can literally be Abu Dazara. So to be a disciple of Avraham Avinu, first and foremost, we have to understand that it will require a lot of cleaning up. up. A lot of cleaning up of things that are foreign because the number one mission that Avraham Avinu had in his life was to destroy all forms of Avodah Zarah. 